Hello everybody, Sir Roz here, and welcome to game three between Select and Next Genius. So, like I said in the last video, I highly recommend you guys watch these in order. Um, you know, stop it right now, go to game one, watch the games in order, watch the series in order. That way you don't get any spoilers or anything like that. So with that, you're all adequately warned, and this is game three, so it is one to one. I guess, you know, saying this is game three is a spoiler in itself, but we're not going to worry about that. So this is game three between Next Genius and Select. Select did win game one with a very uh, well-timed counterattack against a Dark Templar opening and just crushed Next Genius. But Next Genius did manage to come back um, and win game two with just a strong two-base Colossus play. And it works really well for him. Um, Select was maybe a little slow in getting to the starport. And he just did not have the um, Vikings and Medvax he needed to effectively deal with those Colossus. So we'll have to see what happens in Game 3. And... Yeah, let's we'll see what happens in Game 3 between these two players. Um, you know, I... Select has been opening with a two barracks expand, and we'll see if he does that again. Next Genius, first game went Dark Templar, like I said. Second game went One Gate Robo, so I'll see what he chooses here. I, I'm not sure. I think we're just gonna see a One Gate Robo again from him. I mean, it worked for him last game. He knows he can beat uh, Select straight up, and I think he's just gonna go for it. That orbital command going up, select, getting out a marine as well, sending two SCVs to fight this probe. So annoying. Probes are so annoying. <laughs> but finally getting it out and uh, has his SCV down here. Going to kill this pylon. Mighty, mighty SCV here. Any SCV that kills a pylon is a, any worker really is a hero worker in my book. Pretty much all you're, you know, looking for with this early scout, though, is you just want to make sure nothing super cheesy proxy business is going on. And then you just tease over here, so it'll be annoying. Uh, you know, you, you can check for, like, a really super fast expansion or a forge going down can kind of tip you off. Um, stuff like that. Stalker is almost out, though. And, I uh, yeah, the SCV is just going to run, I mean, at this point. All there is to it. So once again, Select going for that early Reaper, and like I said, in the past two games, I think it worked really well for him. It's kind of like our Reaper Scout that runs around, so uh, we'll have to see if it works well again. And soon, okay, so yeah, Select going for the same game plan, confident he just made a few mistakes last game, and he can uh, rectify those mistakes this game. Next Genius has that Assimilator up, but not Mining Gas. Oh, so, interesting, what he did is actually pulled most of his workers off gas right here just so he could afford that Nexus, so, very interesting timing here by Next Genius. And he is just going for a one-gate expand, so very aggressive economic build. Not going for that Robo this time, and then throwing down two more gates, and probably just going to see some gateway play. Three more gates, so up to four gates here from Next Genius. So, probably just going to go Heavy Gateway, and I need to put on the Production tab, because everybody likes Production tab. Reaper going to, or SCV, I thought that was going to be a Reaper, going to check for the expansion, and finds it, and just runs away, so he's like, I'm hiding in the bushes, woo, that jumps out, and then just runs away. <laughs> but he got what he needed. Got the scouting information. Like I said, I really like this Reaper. It is such an effective early scout, and you can put it in cool positions, like up here next to the watchtower, or um, you can like run into your opponent ba r opponent's base and get some scout information and stuff like that. Just really cool early scout. No idea this four gates are coming though. Might actually take um, select by surprise, as it looks like he canceled his bunker there and might go for some sort of attack, but I think he'll be very surprised when he sees the number of gateway units out. Maybe not. I was, you know, really expecting that cancel to lead to an attack, but I guess that's not the case. 
So just Marines and Marauders continuing to be built. Command Center going into that Orbital Command. But Next Genius gearing up for an attack. Looking at his income tab, quite a bit ahead. Select must have been a little supply blocked here for a while or something. Because um, Next Genius is up by quite a large worker, worker count. Looking at the army tab, Next Genius quite a bit larger in, in that as well. So Next Genius just being a macro beast here. But we are going to see a counterattack from Select. His army is about equal size, and by the time it gets there, the army of Next Genius is going to be larger, so I think this might be a little bit of a mistake. But, uh, does he have... Yeah, so he's just doing this stim timing. It's a very standard timing for Terran to attack Protoss. They get the concussive sh uh, shells for his, their Marauders, and then as soon as stim is done, just move in here, try and see what you can do with uh, stimming units, and see if you can break the Protoss right there. But I think he's a little worried about the size of this force. I mean, I think we are just going to see a retreat. Killing a probe in the process. Stalker's poking in. Oh, Stim going off. Trying to snipe some units. Some good force fields, though. Blocking the forces of Select, allowing the Zealots to get in range. And this battle, I think, actually went in the favor of Next Genius here. Yeah, not looking uh, relatively equal for units lost. And looks like, actually, Select, you know, really going to be able to pick off some more units here. And it's really going to work out pretty well for him. But reinforcements coming in for Next Genius. And Select is forced to retreat. And now he is the one getting his units picked off. And both players coming out relatively equal there. Just going to retreat and continue to macro up. Select a little bit behind, though. I'd like, you know, I almost wish I would have watched um, to see if he is missing building workers. I don't know, maybe it is just Chrono Boost coming into action here uh, is the main reason why he's down workers. I guess 36 to 44 is not a super large deficit. So I, I would think a player of Select's caliber, I mean he's he's a very good Terran player, does you know continue to build SCPs all the time. Getting a little close to saturation here, I'd like to see a transfer. This observer going to see what's going on. I'm um, going to ex see, know exactly when Select's moving out. Army size, relatively equal. Next genus, a little bit ahead. But still, I mean, stimming, um, stimming bio units are pretty strong here. And they're actually going to get a free Staka. Oh no! Using a stim for that? Oh, that's. Unbelievable, I... Ah, that's such a waste. Trying to get around these force fields here, and actually, perfect uh, amount of, or lack of force fields there for Select, allowing him to get away and continue to do this kite, sniping that Immortal as well. So Select here, playing very well with his bio units, and I think he... Oh, surprisingly, that battle was pretty even. I thought he would have come out ahead there, but looks like... He did not. He needs to start to transition into the starport, though. He needs those medvacs, or he's going to find himself falling behind very quickly. GSR looking, uh, starting to get a little hurt. And like I said, I'd, I'd really like to see... I think his big problem here is he's not getting a fast uh, starport. I think it's going to cost him a little bit. Next Genius getting that Colossus way before we get anything to effectively deal with it. So looking back at the production tab, yep, Colossus on the way, even some cannons. Income relatively equal. Uh, Terran player probably a little bit up, just to the fact that he has mules. Getting plus one weapons here. And soon we are going to see some medvacs. So heal up his force, and then I'd like to see Vikings, you know, a couple medvacs. Uh, but then he needs to just go heavy Vikings, in my opinion, to... Oh, cracked my back there. To deal with those Colossus. Oh, uh, keyboard on stuff. Not happy, Saraz. Bam! Good. All right. We are going to see another starport go down, and I really like that. I really like that decision here. And getting ready for another drop. Looks like we are going to see Next Genius take his third relatively soon. 
And looks like we are going to see a battle going down. These Marauders moving in. Going to try and beat this army, but he did... I mean, he doesn't have what he really needs to effectively combat this force yet. Looking at the army tab, he's quite a bit behind as well. And he has those units going on that drop, so he needs to back up. He can't fight yet. He knows this too, I mean... He needs to get some more army out. Going to pause for a sec, try and snipe some units um, until those Colossus join the fray. And now he's going to go for a Colossus snipe, but I think he's going to lose a lot in the process. Force fields! Excellent! Cutting the army in half, allowing the Zealots to go to work, slicing that Terran army in half. And this is not looking good. Select did not do even close to enough damage with those units and yes there is the gg so next genius did win the series two to one um just showing how to play protoss against select so i hope you guys did enjoy this series um did enjoy this series and if you have any common suggestions whatever let me know i love to hear from you guys so Thanks, and see y'all later.